So lately, I've been using a DAW to streamline my SP404 workflow, and I've gotten a lot of comments recently asking about the routing, because the SP404 works incredibly well as an audio interface when plugged in with USB-C, but you can also, with an interesting bit of routing, send sounds from the DAW back into the SP404, either to sample, resample, just add effects and things like that. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna break down all of the different routing combinations, and then I'll show how to set it up. Let's get into it. All right, so to get started, let's talk some cabling. So you need to have a USB-C to C for this to work. It has to output a certain amount and I'll put that right here. And I'll also put a link to the one I'm using in the description. But with that, set it up and then in your DAW, and I'm using Logic for iPad, but this will work in any DAW. If you go over to the DAW settings, just make sure that you set your input and your output. You have to do both for what we're gonna do to work to SP404. Now, if you just want to receive sounds into the DAW, you can set this to just input. And if you just wanna send sounds into the SP404, you can just set this to output. So from there, if we turn on external source, you can hear we're getting audio. As you'll notice, I have this cable going into how I'm recording. So this cable right here is not necessary for what we're doing. I have headphones that are going into the headphone jack on the SP, which is how normally you could hear it or you could plug it into speakers going through the line out, anything like that. But if we shut off that external source, you'll see no sounds coming in. Now this is gonna be key. So if we turn it back on, there's our sound. So that works as the audio interface, right? Now with Logic working, we can send sounds into Logic or send sounds back into the SP404. So check this out. If we go over to choose a pad and let's see what BPM we're on. We're on 92 BPM. So let's set 92 BPM and four bars. And then if we choose one, it's gonna be set to wait. Now it's gonna record these four bars because this is four bars and we set it to four bars. Check this out. And I can add effects. and it only recorded those four bars. And you can hear it sounds a lot grittier, right? Because I have bus three and four on. So this is a way to bake in effects while just playing it back. And there's the code I put in. Now let's say though that we wanted to put this back into Logic. So you're gonna run into one kind of weird problem and we're gonna fix that. I'll show you how. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna choose, let's actually choose a stereo audio track. We'll hit create. And now with that on, let's get out of this. We'll arm that recording. Now you can hear there's an infinity loop starting. Hear that weird sound? So I'm gonna lower this. So it's recording both the audio coming into the SP, but then also whatever I press. So that gets a bit messy, right? What we can do though, if we just shut off external source, we can then send anything from our SP into Logic because it is still acting as an audio interface. Now you won't have a BPM, but you can just record that right in. And then if we stop this recording, then we could just find the spot, chop it, move this over. So then once we chop it up, we turn external source back on. And there's our resampled version. Now this is similar if we wanted to record instruments in this fashion with all the bouncing back and forth, we would have to record the instruments as a sample on the SP and then send it into here. I'm doing this with Logic for iPad and I don't have a headphone slot. The other way of doing it that would be a lot simpler is what we talked about at the start where if you go in and you change input and output. So if you were to change the output to your headphones or even your monitors through your computer. That will solve this infinity loop and then you can send sounds into Logic or your DAW while listening to it. But I was getting questions asking about this workflow specifically and so that's this workflow. It is a little convoluted, but it does work really well, especially if the SP is your main focus. Like for me, the SP is where I'm making the beats, right? I'm just moving things into the DAW either to arrange or um, stem split and it's kind of at the end. And so it solves a lot of the issues that I have with the SP when it comes to sequencing or needing to stem split when I'm using the looper or something like that. And if you wanna learn more about that, check out this video next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.